Oh my lord, bro! I have not been this uncomfortable watching something in quite some time, bro. What up? What up? What up? Night Nation, this boy Stevie Knight. Bot, get on one of these things. You feel me? We'll go to watch. Night watch. Shit. Um, I'm I'm about to just press play, bro, because I seen a few seconds of this podcast with LD up on uh, what's Cuz name? What is Cuz's name? The comedian. This is on the Flagrant YouTube channel, bro. But fuck is his name? I I I usually know his name, bro, but I can't. Andrew Scholes's podcast, Flagrant. I saw a few seconds of LD up on this, shit, bro, and it just was funny as hell bro so i'm about to just press play and see where this shit take me you feel me um like always man ground to grow growing the ground all the goddamn time merch shop steve knight.com man anytime you see me rocking something that you rocking with go up over there find something you like you know I'm saying? go ahead and check out i got you and yeah little dicky ladies and gentlemen that's amazing. That's amazing. Have, you, have you flubbed a celebrity interaction? Like some of you met that you were so excited to meet that you were just like, oof, not my best. Hmm, prob, uh, uh, oh man. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Give us that one. Whatever, whatever made you go, mm? We can bleep it. We can bleep the name, but tell the story. Let me think about it for a second. <laughs> He's running the numbers, bro. You can yeah. see. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, DJ Khaled. Okay. Who I was getting in my Freaky Friday music video. Yeah. The way that we shot like a few moments at the end where I was like, DJ Khaled, Ed Sheeran, Kendall Jenner. Like I, tur I was in Chris Brown's body, then I switched into like these other bodies for like 10 seconds. So like we really were like loose and like how whatever their thing was going to be, like what they said. And like so I was going, I was on my way to DJ Khaled. He agreed to be in the video to shoot and record his line that was to be determined. So I had to, I was gonna pitch him on a number of things. I'm on the way to his house and I'm texting my director of the video. I'm being like, look, my dream version of what I would want him to do is be completely naked and be like, I'm DJ Khaled, like, and like make some sort of dick joke about like whatever we think like his dick is like. And as soon as I sent the text, to, I realized I didn't send it to the director. I sent it to DJ Khaled. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Like, yeah, as, it sounds like a <laughs> fucking show. Okay. As I'm on the way to, and I've never even met him. So I'm meeting him right now, and like, no that's, response. That's I pull up to his house. Like, I'm like, oh my God, like, fuck. Like, <laughs> I ring the doorbell. If he like, answers the door naked, he's a legend. <laughs> and, and, Facts. And then, and at that point, so he answers the door, yeah. and and it's totally normal. I'm thinking maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't even read read the text, and I'm, or, or he did and doesn't. I don't know, yeah. but he's acting very normal. And at that point, I was like, I, I, because of that botched interaction, I bailed on the idea of even pitching anything envelope pushing to DJ Khaled. Yeah. I was like, let's play it safe and pitch him. I'm DJ Khaled. Why am I yelling? Which is like, you know, he always, when he gets in the song, yeah, yeah. he's like, ah, oh, DJ. So I was like, let's just pitch him something like that. We get up to the studio. He's like, so what do you have in mind? And I'm like, what I'd love for you to do is be like, I'm DJ Khaled. Why am I yelling? And he was like, huh, what else you got? And then I like thought he would just have accepted that pitch. <laughs> That would they use, isn't it? And the only other pitches I have were like dick, <laughs> like nude dick joke, like okay. related type shit. <laughs> And he was like, huh, what else you got? And I was like, uh, like, well, I was like, we could, we could like make a dick joke. And he went, a dick joke? <laughs> like, he had, it felt as though he had never heard the term, the term, a dick joke. <laughs> <laughs> you go. Uh, and I was like, yeah, like, you know, like, <laughs> Like, you know, I'm a little dicky. Like, I make jokes about, like, my dick being small all the time. He was like, let's just do the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> but man, that was That's fucking hilarious. stressful. <laughs> <laughs> I was not texting my director like in such confidence, you know, and I'm literally texting the man. I'm, I was so. I'm sure I've had other hey. interactions where like Kelly got a dope sense of humor. Crazy by accident. Wow. On the subject of the nudity, it's the like big jokes. LD doesn't. He don't even act, bro. He just. He's just himself in front of the camera, bro, because that is Dave. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's every person you see in front of the camera when he's recording something, bro. He just be himself, though. He's fucking hilarious, just naturally. Season two, there's an episode that's very gay, for a less tactful way to say it. I know what you're talking about. I'm a repressed Indian kid. I'm uncomfortable watching this. How's the general public receive that episode? And how do you feel about it? Either way. With Benny, huh? no, it's with Benny. Yeah, with Benny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with Benny. So let me Just, tell you, talk about a polarizing yeah. scene. <laughs> uh, <laughs> break it, break it down. Yeah. Break it down. I got to say, you almost lost me with that. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I skipped an episode or two of it. I understand. Yeah. Beautiful like season. So There's too many black right. people watching my show. <laughs> so gay. <laughs> so that was uncomfortable. First and watch. foremost. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievably likable, right? It's so likable. So, like, first, so and, first and foremost, <laughs> first and foremost, uh, <laughs> like to apologize to Mason Cameron. Uh, <laughs> Mace, uh, no, I. What you have to realize is, I did not. We did not. Me and Benny act that way. That's crazy. Like we. <laughs> Literally, Can you break it down for everybody just so we're all on the this same guy's page? my best friend. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know if it's like a Jewish, like privileged guy thing or something, but like, and I, and I have other friendships that are similar where like we just like we shower together. We don't do it sexually. We're not like, you know, jerking each other off. And then like, y'all gotta explain this to me, bro. I I've always wondered about that. Like, why is that allowed? Why is why is that okay? with white folks or white boys to do and y'all and y'all don't be gay i can't comprehend that if I, I can't no i'm not slapping no dick i'm not grabbing no dude's balls and jokes i'm not acting gay in any form or fashion bro because that shit is gay i don't even have that in me. but that's the majority of the black community is like that like we don't we don't unless you unless you gay for real but like you know and it's an old school type of mentality too bro because these are new these are new well, because these these new black boys be doing that weird shit too, bro. So I, I just I, I don't I don't know what it is. I've always thought about that. I've always I've always been confused about that. There's there's some white boys. There's a lot of white boys actually that I grew up seeing that move that way, but they be straight and they be goddamn you know grabbing motherfuckers' asses, putting their whole fingers up dudes' asses, grabbing balls, grabbing dicks, and they be jokes, right? Explain that to me. Anyway. Let's continue. Sexual. We're I just would like, rather. We're just that. talking naked in the shower. Nah. Dicks out, balls Dicks out. Dicks out, balls out. Nah. And it's, nah. Yeah. nah. So anyways. Who's bigger? Yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah, I have, my dick looks like a raisin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you seen it hard, though? Him? Yeah. You say you're a grower. He says he's a grower, so I'm just asking a follow-up. Bro, what kind of question is that, though? Like, why Why would you ever see a, your best friend go hard, bro? That's gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What are we talking about, bro? No, I bet cuz of his is uncomfortable as shit. No, man. The black dude at the end of the couch is uncomfortable as shit. <laughs> what the fuck? What's going on, bro? I've seen him, like, yeah. I've seen him with some blood in his dick. dick. I haven't seen him like fully. <laughs> some blood in his dick. Yeah. yeah. But half. I've seen him with some blood in his dick. I haven't seen him with some blood in his dick. You've seen it hard, though? Him? Yeah. You say you're a grower. He says he's a grower. It's a gay so ass question. A follow up. I'm a journalist. I've seen it. I've journalist. Seen him, like, yeah. I've seen him with some blood in his dick. I haven't seen him like fully. Some blood in his dick. Yeah. But half juice, dude. <laughs> but look, I also thought I was like, this is a really interesting <laughs> dynamic that I think people will find funny minimally. We put it out, and I think like, yes, there's like half the people who are like, man, you almost lost me. <laughs> who pitches you on showering together, Nate? Me and Benny. In real life, not it in just really happened organically. Like, <laughs> like, like how? I, what? What? What situation I, would present? He, he We're meets, in a rush. He like, meets me under the lens of like that's li like he I, he reached out to me as a rapper, Lil Dicky, who like made all of his early music about how fucked up and small his dick is, and he is just like me. And so once we started hanging out, he was like, "You got to show me your dick." And like I'm not like some people would be like, "What?" To that question, that's but not a weird question. I've lived you. a life showing yeah, yeah, all yeah. of my high school friends have seen yeah. my dick. Like everyone in my overnight campus, like you know, it's just like I'm curious. Yeah. 
that shit gay as fuck. That shit gay as fuck. Dog, no, that's gay. That's gay. It, that's gay, bro. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bro. What you mean? I, what, what I need, to, what I need to, 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 to see what's going on between your legs, folks, because I'm curious. The fact that I'm curious about what's between your legs and you a man, that's gay. <laughs> Woo! LD, bro. LD talk. Bro, you a different breed, dog. <laughs> you a different breed. Your camp is a different breed. You put out dope ass quality, entertaining, engaging content, bro. But this conversation is woof, woof, or woof, woof. What? I don't care how like homophobic you are. If I showed you my dick and took and walked you through you it, you'd be on people? the ground laughing. Wait, you'd be slapping like you it, still got that skin thing. That yeah, you I could show you some shit that would like. Do you have a photograph? Show us. Show us. Show us. Show us. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, uh, show us. No, no, no way his dick is that terrible. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> in person. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, way no, I, no way. No way his dick is that terrible. But as terrible as his dick is, motherfucker ain't trying to see that shit. Get the fuck out of here. I can tell like if we all kept hanging out for like three to five years, you would all see my dick in. Time. Like it's the type of thing that I definitely. I can see. I mean, I'd honestly, I'm curious right now. The show doing three is to very different minutes. than seeing the dick. It's not I, that different. I would see the dick. It's not that wet. different. Wet is different. It's not that different. <laughs> that anyway, makes it different. And the though. time, the duration is different. Yeah, we just we just are really comfortable what with is, each other. I mean, what? Wet it is crazy. crazy. Alex, you want to see the dick? Hey man. <laughs> hey, 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 hey man. Hey man. Real, real, real shit. Real, real fucking shit. He 35 years old, dog. So that's. That's that ain't this that ain't these new news, motherfucker. I understand it with these new news. With this new generation, these Gen Z motherfuckers don't even know if they're a man or a woman. I, I ain't even talking about y'all. I'm talking about grown ass, old school ass men. And those who have best ass friends that y'all have known for the longest. Unless y'all play football together, you know what I'm saying? Even and even playing football together, even that's different. Like in college is different. You walk around the locker room, butt ass nigga, bro. But outside of 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 sports. Where there's times that you that you may be naked around each other. In what context would you see your best friends or your homies dick? Like unless y'all like running a girl, like training a girl or something. That I guess I guess but then like y'all fucking a bitch. And then but but then outside of that, like what? Like what? What? That's, that's what girls do. Girls do that. Girls will be like, you know, look at my titty, like whatever. Look at my new boobs. Look at my ass. Or, you know, can you, can, like, that's that's what women do. Women do. Men don't do that. So I, you're I being disingenuous. Would you, you want to see a cross yeah, section? Being what if it was an exam or something like that? Just like, Dude, uh, can you so just show them and then they'll report back to me? <laughs> the guys that, uh, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> <Please. laughs> Season one and two, I was working yeah. on. Sorry, we went from not wanting to see your dick. Please, can you just stop? <laughs> <laughs> one minute. In one minute. No, that was the gay shit you ever did. By the way, yo, cough up that piece, my boy. So, so yo, we got showers here. <laughs> the guys he that. He didn't sell the dick well, though. <laughs> the guys that scored my show, that like make all the original composing for the show, are like two of my best friends out here, Henry and Jack. And, you know, they too had heard, you know, stories for years about my dick. And like, we, they, no one feels like the brunt of like a schedule, like having to hand in episodes more than like the composers of the score. Cause mm -hmm. like, we have like such limited time to like make all, and we were just at a point where like everyone was so burnt out and they were, I could just tell they were like just crushed about like the amount of time that this would take to get it right over the next like five weeks. Mm. And I could see their spirits so low and I and I said guys like really what I did was they were behind they were working their backs were turning and they've they were asking to see my dick for a while and so this wasn't like sexual <laughs> consensual, harassment yeah. very consensual I got but their, their backs were to me they're working on their keyboards I just got butt naked and I just waited for them to turn around and they turned around and they looked and they they the joy <laughs> and the marvel, the marvel and, and, and the seriousness at which they took yeah. my, they, they literally stopped what they were doing got up <laughs> like literally like bent over and, like Jurassic Park they, yes. they, they were like they were like I've never seen something they're like your dick is like a Pixar character where it's like it's so like the old guy and fucked up. up and like wrong but so like there's so much hope oh, nah, you're really selling this shit <laughs> 
There's Lord. so much hope and optimism. Like it, it feels like you can, like it can do anything, but like it can do mm. nothing at the same why? time. Can you, why? Why? Wow. It's really thick. Like, give me a thickness. I don't. I, all I know is I took a string one time and I measured the girth yeah. and the length, and I fell 10 percentile length, 90th percentile girth. So what? that thick? I don't. It can't be. But like. Like I just know that when I Montana. back in the day when I would try to stick my dick in a Gatorade bottle, it Couldn't felt, get it it felt like a tight fit. Okay, so thickness. Okay, and then after that, look, that seems pretty cool. Actually, <laughs> and also, well, it's it's, it's what show? But there's a lot wrong with it. Like what happened was a few things. Yeah. One, <laughs> born with a, a, a disease, I guess you'd call it, or a defect yeah. called hypospadias, where my pee hole is just in the wrong spot. Condition, like. Where so, your pee hole is damn, right in the so middle. All yes. that shit is My real. Damn, all that shit is real in that show. Everything he's talking about. I thought he made that shit up. This motherfucker really has a goddamn Frankenstein dick. Oof. And he's made, but I mean, that's genius to make a make a business out of it, literally. Right? Like he's not embarrassed by this shit. Any he, <laughs> he's making millions off of his deformed dick, bro. I respect it, dog. Still not trying to see it, bro. But that's this 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 is wild, dog. <laughs> this is wild, bro. And it's like right down here, like a faucet, which I didn't mm -hmm. even know was yeah. wrong until like I was like sixteen. And some guy was like, "Why is your pee hole there?" Because I was showing men my dick. Because I thought there was other things wrong with it. Oh, let's see it here. Exactly. Ah, but there's versions of it. Like, look, version one is my that looks a lot like my dick right like a little bit like that see how it's like and then version two like it's like in the middle of the guy's shaft that's uh, not oh my god and then version three it said it's nuts oh, that's, a, that's, that's a pussy bro that's yeah. a vagina i got version one so i'm okay thank god now. okay but yeah. the, version three actually seems kind of cool that's like a, like a cool yeah. no they're cert well i don't know all i know and then so uh, besides that so are you I'm busting nuts born, out of your balls I'm busting that. No, 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 no. He's version three. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, version yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wow. but you bust on your balls. Bust, uh, yeah. You shoot down. Yeah. <laughs> How do you pee? I'll tell you. I pee sitting down. But uh, so, <laughs> independent of the hypospadias, I also had my urethra was tangled right. to the point where, like, if I didn't get surgery, emergency surgery right away, I wasn't going to be able to pee the right way. I wasn't going to be able to have kids. So they yeah. had to go in and perform it. They had to do surgery and, like, do all this shit, baby take skin too. away. Yeah. And I don't even know the facts at hand. I'm only, like, here as, like, a like a man, like, just looking at my thing. And, like, I don't... My, my parents, I don't want to talk to them about it. It's, like, a little weird. And yeah. I don't think they even know the facts at hand. My theory is they cut off a lot of my dick skin, like, and they had to replace my dick skin with other skin and yeah. I think like my you know how like your balls are ribbed I have to put this in the show but yeah, like I saw that, yeah. my my skin of all, my whole dick is ribbed and it grows hair like if I just let my hair grow down there yeah. my entire dick would have hair like, <laughs> like here like a tree from like the Lord yes. yeah so I think that my dick is made of balls Ball skin. Yeah, yeah, oh. And there's, so there's just a lot of scarring. Bruh, and there's a bruh, I can't take it. I can't take it, bro. <laughs> bro, what the fuck did I do to myself, bro? LD, this is TMI, dog. It's too much fucking information, bro. <laughs> uh, he owning it, bro. Fuck it, bro. <laughs> you gonna have hella bitches trying to swallow all that ball sack skin, dog. <laughs> that hairy ball sack skin. Oh my lord. Bro, I have not been this uncomfortable watching something in quite some time, bro. This shit took two lefts or right, went downstairs, upstairs for two miles, bro. Oh, bro, will it stop? Will the conversation stop, bro? God damn. A lot of sense. And then also, I developed, I had these little poppy seeds on my dick that like kind of developed. And I was ashamed. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Man. They're not poppy seeds. Yeah. They look yeah. like poppy seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Little yeah. Black, see everything's in bagel like black Little yeah. black yeah. dots started yeah, yeah, yeah. popping up. And yeah. I was like, what is this? I got to remove this. One of the black dots, they must have removed too far. And now there's like, where that black dot was, there is a hole. Like, so now when I pee, it goes out of my main pee hole, which is already in the wrong place. It's my main pee hole. Oh, and then there's no. another little hole that like, like every time, if I pee, that's why I pee sitting down. Because you have to. Yeah. If I pee standing up, it's I would just mess. piss all it's over like my It's like when own. you put your like, thumb on a hose and yeah. it just fucking. It's like, you know, oh, exactly man. that. Or like, right, you know, this is fucked up, but I feel bad for him, bro. Real shit, dog. Like all jokes aside, that shit sounds so miserable, bro. I couldn't imagine what it would be like to have that, bro.
You know what I mean? Like, on a serious tip, bro, like, as uncomfortable as this shit is, man, and he's capitalizing off of it, eating off of his 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 shortcomings, um, so, you know, to, to put it plainly, uh, I commend someone that can fucking flip something as devastating as that into something positive, bro. You know what I mean? It's a spectacle. It's crazy as fuck, dog, but... He really, he I'm, he ain't lying. He's not lying. If he's lying, then fuck. Fuck. If this all this shit is cap, then. But uh, Lil Dick ain't, he ain't, he ain't about, he's not capping, bro. He's not capping, dog. And, man, bro, if, if my if my guy was like that, bro, if my. <laughs> what? What? But then it's like, it's all about perspective because that's all he knows. All he knows is his, that, that zombie schlong. Right, he don't know what it's like to have a a a, a regular one. Mm. Mm. Man, bro, Whew. bruh. Super soakers where like they had like a thing where you could like turn it left yeah, and it would like go that yeah, way. It's yeah. like yeah. that. Your dick's like a clarinet almost. Yeah, like it has that... multiple little holes you have to yeah, plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pl so I pee in a urinal, which I do oftentimes in public because talk about you can't be sitting down in a public restroom. It's like disgusting what men do in the stalls of a public. I can't even believe yeah. it. There's like shit and piss like everywhere. I do it every time. Yeah, this guy. He's savage. Cheek to bowl. I don't even... He just hard to wipe the yeah, bowl. Yeah. Yeah. He and lifts the seat up and sits I'll right plug, I'll plug, So I piss on my finger every time. If I'm peeing standing up, that means I'm willingly pissing on my finger and the overflow is just going down on my nuts. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and it's small. But girthy. But girthy. But and girthy. I think girthy. And, and I, I hit it for my whole life. I avoid every time that like people were getting together and like playing spin the bottle where like maybe you'd like get your dick touched. I was like sick that night because I was like, no one can know. Mm. And then eventually I like, you know, just decided to put it in the show and like own it. And and the thing that I realized as an adult is like oftentimes women aren't even aware of what a dick's supposed to look like more or less. And like mm. there's no different. It's all weird to them. You know, right. this is always a foreign like. No, not smell. not not today in age, bro. These bitches know what dick's supposed to look like. You know what I mean? This ain't this, this ain't the, the damn 80s. When girls are innocent, bro. No, hell no. Especially you being a little dick. You got some notoriety about yourself. You got, you got, you got some, some status, some clout, some bread, bro. They know what that dick's supposed to look like now, but they not gonna give a fuck because it's, it's attached to you. They not worried about the dick. They worried about you. But uh, you just out in the streets and you, you pulled that decrepit ass. Mo I, mean, I don't even talk shit, bro, because it's fucked up. If you pulled your, your deformed phallus out and you're just a regular person, bro, they are going to. I don't know what the fuck they gonna do, bro. You got to be real selective on who you decide to show that to. But, yeah, moral story is bitches know what tips look like. Coming out of a man's hips. <laughs> you know, and I just have a different version of it that yeah. it's functional, though. And there, there's value to the girth, I found. Yeah. And, and so it gets hard. Do you, have, do you have a girlfriend now? Yeah. Did you have to introduce her to it? Or did she know from the show? Did she, she know from your material? She knew from the show. Okay. Mm. Um, and enjoy it, like... Honestly, it was I, I met her so like right before my show was about to come out, and like very early in the process, I was like, "Look, I'm about to come out with this show. This is what I'm thinking in my head, not what I'm saying to her. Yeah. I'm about to come out with the show where I'm literally like, maybe I was getting away with people not knowing, but now I'm putting almost a bullseye on my dick. Now, like I feel like it's like being like, well, let me invent. And mm -hmm. so I showed her the episode, first scene of the first episode is me having this entire yep. breakdown with the urologist. Yeah. And she, like, loved it. And, then you know, as she accepted me for me, and we have a great relationship. And there's never... She loves... I don't even want to... Because I know I'm, she's a grown woman with parents, and I don't even want to say she loves my dick. But she loves my dick. Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah. 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 She cherishes it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Have, have women ever reacted uh, with aversion Negatively. at any point in your life? One time, and it was, like, the first time. Oh, uh, no. Which oh, was hard. God. Oh, no. What uh. happened? The a girl said, "Wait, wait!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's reasonable. That's actually, wait is reasonable. She was like, "Wait, <laughs> isn't the isn't the pee hole supposed to be there?" And I couldn't believe it. It was so. It was like I'm mortifying. Fucked. I was, so, I'm fucked for life. She was a slut. She no, saw too many. Yeah, how did she know what what she she So the top of it is just like um, a shiny sheen. It's like a Christmas ornament. Sheen. It's like a Christmas ornament. Wow. wow. Just shiny. And Honestly, it looks like I have half a head almost. Like it looks like take your head, right? Yeah. My dickhead. Yeah. Take your dickhead. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then right where the pee hole is, take, take a knife and just cut it in half. So it, it's flat at the top? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Laugh, bro. I want to show you that. so because I it's a little it's like like it's, a hammerhead. It feels like it's that it's that thing in the top in the left. It's the left one. It's that. But isn't that weird? Like I thought everyone's dick weird. looked like that. Yeah, that's not that, I thought, that weird. I didn't know. That, I'm, like, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, yeah that's not that. No, 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 there's more to it. No. There's more to it. What do you think's weirder? Imagine what you have skin. or just foreskin? I, what would I have? What I have? Because <laughs> there's a lot of things I can do that, like I can. Wait, I can, did your parents circumcise you as well? Yeah, I'm like overly sorry. I have, I, I'm like missing too much meat down there to the point where I think I have l less sensitivity. Why? Wow. Mm -hmm. But you last longer, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a phase of my life um, when I was like 24 where I. <laughs> Where I prematurely ejaculate, like I basically, I could not prevent myself from prematurely ejaculate. Mm. Like every time I had sex, I would come within the first ten seconds. T and B, yeah. But touch and bust. Because I don't have that long of a boner, and and because the dick, you know, stays relatively with blood in it. I would just pretend that I didn't come and, and I just would keep fucking, keep fucking, smart. and then fake an orgasm whenever it seemed appropriate. Yeah, pretty pumped, smart. Yeah. Wow. That's so smart. I was just faking orgasms for so long. So does cum come out of both sides? Is it the top and I, also I gotta the side say, a little? That's a question I get asked a lot. And, <laughs> and the way that I come is I I don't like shoot cum like. I kind of just like ooze it, ooze <laughs> out of like, mm -hmm. my dick. Like it's yeah. a sewer drain or something. It's like slime, you know, like <laughs> and like when your hand That's is like here, just I, my hand is always like I'd have to like get a camera, but I think cum does come out of that second small hole, but it just in a way it, that it like weeps. it's just glistening. It's, it's like weeping. It's glistening. Yeah, it's not like it's not gonna shoot like yeah. you know. It's but not it's like a oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a sponge in a way. It's yeah. glistening. <laughs> like it it's glistens. So funny <laughs> yeah. to say I'm coming on your own balls. Yeah. <laughs> but like, it's not. It's not. There's not a lot of cum that comes out. Because I don't think I, I. I'm a little worried at the lack of cum. I. I, I worry that I, I don't know how much I'm coming enough. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's normal. There's definitely every time I jerk off. There's just cum all over like the bottom half of my dick okay. and like my hand and but like. It never goes anywhere. Now, mm -hmm. if I straighten my dick, because my dick has a hitch, uh. and I'm sorry, Mom and Dad, because I said, it's enough about yeah. the dick. <laughs> I can't believe that every interview I do default, but I really don't bring it up, and I do think it's interesting. Yeah, it's yeah. medical trauma. You should be able to talk about yeah. it. If I straighten That's this. That's true. Okay, my so favorite way to come. Yes. Silly string. Guy. Oh. <laughs> is, is taking my like little bit of a bent dick. Yeah. And straightening it, yeah. oh. and then just sitting there and waiting, <laughs> and not even moving. And if I'm high enough, and there's good shit going on in that screen in front of you me, you don't even have to jerk off to no. that. By the way, I used to be able to come hands free. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Before I got on Dave, Propecia for hair loss. Dave, come on. Before I got on Propecia, I don't even need Propecia. To be honest. I got ahead of it. Uh, before, Literally. yeah, before I, and I don't know, I, I, I just, you know, I always heard people say like, oh, I wish I started like a year earlier. Cause like Propecia stops you in its tracks. Yes. Yeah. 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 It doesn't make hair grow. So yes. I just wanted my, my tracks to be stopped. Anyways, uh, before, like, I think it does lower my sex drive a little bit, Propecia. Yeah. I was tragically horny. Like I, yeah. I was uh, prematurely ejaculating. Yeah, now I have a normal sex drive. This and is great. before, I literally, I could sit there and think, and I could, and if I There's push. There's no way. I'm telling you. With just push, your mind. Just my mind. the power of your mind. You push the way you push like when you're pooping. Like a cum Jedi. And, I yeah. could, and, I, and that is a great way to come. I mean, have you guys had a wet dream? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of oh, course. Yeah. There's no better way to come than yeah. a wet dream. That's the best. My best sexual moments of my life were the three wet dreams that I had. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, man, this shit, Damn, this shit just what? keeps coming and fuck wrong word, bro. This shit just, it just, it continues as waves and waves and waves and waves of the craziest shit that I've heard in God, God knows how long, bro. LD, bro, man, it's, how much more of this is left?
more. I've, I've, never, never, okay. I've never had Take it. me through all three. I've never had My dream number one, uh, we were at <laughs> Seeds of Peace International Camp in Maine. And I was... <laughs> Seeds of Peace? Come on, dude. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, I got I to gotta tap out. I, I, I got to tap out, bro. I'm, I, I can't do the wet dreams, dog. <laughs> I can't do the wet dreams, bro. I did not know what I was getting myself into. Hopefully, y'all have lasted as long as I lasted. Um, if you want to see this entire podcast on your own, bro, go to... What's the name of this shit? Flagrant YouTube channel, bro. Uh, LD is wild. <laughs> LD is a different breed, dog. Damn, I stepped into a pile of shit with this one, bro. God damn.